What's up guys, Dark Dally here, playing American Truck Simulator, and today I want to do a little review of, well, the Little Mac B61. It is kind of a little truck. Now, this of course does not come with the game, this is going to be one of the many trucks that I'm going to be kind of reviewing and testing for you that comes with a mod. Of course, download and use mods at your own risk. I believe you can find this on the Steam Workshop or a reliable site. Of course, I want to advise you to, you know, scan for viruses or anything before installing any third-party mod from another site. All right, so the Mac B61. This is a cool little truck. I want to, here's what I want to do. I want to show you guys, um, this is how I've designed it. I want to show you how it can be designed. We'll drive it some. I'll show you inside and out. I'll do a delivery in it so we can test it during the night and day, see what kind of handling it has, what we can expect, what kind of accessories we can do, etc. Now you've seen it from the outside. Of course, I'm going to take it into the shop up here. Let's have a listen at the engine here. All right, so here's the... Let's, let's stick it outside, listen. Now this is the engine that comes stock in the truck, and I'm not sure what it is. So we're going to check that when we take it into the shop here. Now, of course, this being a, you know a vintage truck, it's not going to have a lot of the readouts. It does come with a GPS. I, I, I got to say just right off the bat, I've driven this truck very little. I don't like that GPS. It, um, how about we shift up and then move? I don't like that GPS. It's really bright. I wish it was a little dimmer, but I haven't used it much, so we'll see. Also, um, I'll say off the bat, not a huge fan of the mirrors. I say that because I can't see I like to have this one in my sight while I drive and I have to turn to see it and that kind of make me swear a little bit, but luckily the, uh, and you'll see this when we take it into the shop up here, the front mirrors actually have two positions. Um, I have the both front mirrors set back a little bit and they actually function pretty good as side view mirrors. Now let's see what kind of engine we got in this, what kind of engine choices we have, and I'll show you some of the modification choices. Now here's the interior I chose. A lot of the options are for the interior and buttons and dials, stuff like that. Uh, everything in here is modeled very nicely. I love the fabric you can get on the seats. It looks like fabric. Uh, let's look at the controls some. So first, yeah, before we take it to the shop, let's look at the controls. All right, so here we have the lights. And there's the brights. You can, and I see a little bit of a difference there. There's the brights. Um, these are all the lights that you can put on it. It's just these, but you know. You want it that classic look anyway, right? Now, on the inside, there's no... Right now, I'm toggling the brights, as you can see in front of me. If you look at the storefront in front of me, I'm toggling the brights. There's no bright indicator that I see. Oh, there it is. I see the bright indicator right there. Uh, oh, and you can see the lever move, too. Oh, that's pretty cool. The wipers, you know what? I'm, I've driven this just enough to actually forget the wipers are there. That is where the wipers are supposed to be. You'll see, look at the lever right here. And you can see the the different wiper positions in the lever. So that's done very nicely. Wipers work quite nicely. Uh, it's a little odd. They rest up there. This truck looks like it's from the 50s or something. I don't know. Someone may know. Uh, maybe that's the way they did it back then. Let's see. Do we have an indicator for the engine brake? No, there's no indicator for the engine brake. Um, so there's that. Let's see if the, any of those other dials uh, or gauges. Okay, fuel... Well, we're full, so we're. I, we'll just assume those work. Um, do we have a? Okay, yeah. We've got working levers for the parking brake. I'm just kind of looking at everything here. How about shifting? I don't know if any of the shifters move though, to be honest. All right, let's take it into the shop and check out some of the options that we have for this guy. I think we can actually get this thing to slide. <laughs> yeah, we can <laughs> slide into home base. All right, let's go check out what we can modify on this thing. There's quite a few modification points and they're mo largely gonna be inside the cab. Okay, so here we can see the outside. Let's have a look at different choices we have here for the, the little B61. All right, so we only have the one cab choice. We have a few chassis choices. There's no pictures, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Four by two, six by four, uh, long and short. Here, let's have a look at them real quick. Cause I, wanna, I wanna do mostly a driving and field test. Engines, here's what it comes stock with. It comes stock with, wow, 450 horsepower. I don't think they made them like that back in 1950, whatever, somehow. But I could be wrong. It does seem like quite a bit. You can see I have a lot. Some of these engines that I have here are going to be from mods. So this may not be the full engine choice for it. It may only come with these Mac engines. Still, okay, it does feel like it has a lot of horsepower. This is the one that comes with it. I haven't changed that. I've not changed the transmission either. This is what it came with. 
there are definitely quite a few paint schemes. Let's go ahead and just flip through some of these. I'll just, um, mine was a custom one that I did. I'll just custom colors. Uh, we got quite a few paint schemes, and yeah, that looks ugly, but you can change other colors, of course. And so we got one, two, three, four. We got five different paint jobs, and you can change the colors on the rest. Here's where it gets wild. Yeah, there's a lot of modification you can do. Most of that's on the inside. There's not much you can do on the outside here. Let's have a look, though. A lot of those points are inside. So you can see on the front, we can change um, the muzzle. That's this right here that I have painted chrome. It's that, and that can extend um, into the fenders a little bit. And then here we have, these are just ring, this is ring, this little tiny ring around the headlights and eyelashes. That's just the little lip over the eye, uh, the headlights, sorry. Uh, it's really not an import here. We can, uh, bull bar, just, there's just different antenna, not antennas, but you know, guide rods. I don't know why. Yep. That's what, that's all that is. There's a few bumpers you can choose from. Oops. That's a banner. That's my bad. Few bumpers you can choose from different chrome painted types and sizes. Let's scroll around here. I like the tires. I kept the tires and the wheels the same. There's several different tank configurations you can do. I want to focus mostly on the inside. There's no rack you can do in the back. Um, yeah, you can, there's a few exhaust choices. Um, nothing too fancy. Really, most of the uh, modification of this is here in the interior. And there's a lot. Um, I don't think this works with Sissel's Mega Pack items because I have that and I did not see a patch for that with this. Yeah, there's two different front mirror settings. You can have them look forward or back here. I like them back here. They work for the side view mirrors that I can't quite see. Oh, there's a few air filter options too on the side, like mini trucks that you'd see. Now, a lot of these are for different gauges. Like here, you can have, uh, they have different bezels there. Here, you can turn this, this little switches there on or off. I guess they're just for fun. Uh, same with these. You can, you can toggle these on or off. You can change different paneling colors here. A lot of this is for the inside. You can change the color of this door panel here. I'm just kind of flicking through stuff real fast so we can get to the driving of this guy. The seat material, I chose what I think is the best choice. It looks nice and vintage. There's some newer, cleaner looking ones too. But I think this one just looks right. You can also change the color of, I know, yeah. Uh, there's no options for any hanging items or CB radio or anything like that, but you can change the sun visors. That's okay, because you can also change inside the cabs. You want to, you want those to match, I suppose. So yeah, there's a lot of options as you can see inside here. Um, not much for accessories, really. All right, so while I did the first part of the review of this truck, just kind of as I was driving and I hadn't really driven it yet, I went ahead and stopped and I went and did a couple deliveries. I put a couple thousand miles on it so I could give you guys um, some real educated thoughts on this truck. It's a beautiful truck. But I want to go over some of the pros and cons, and I'll show some footage here of a delivery that I made. Um, pros and cons. Yeah, I got to say, in the end, I don't care for the truck that much, and I'll, I'll tell you why here. Okay, so pros, the truck is beautiful, and it really it has such a great vintage look. Whoever designed the mod did a really good job. You can even see like the stitching on the, on the uh, seats and the wood grain on the dashboard when headlights pass you at night and the when the light reflects off my dashboard, it looks like wood grain. I mean, they did a great job. Now, okay, so I'll kind of mix in pros and cons here. I don't like have I don't like having to look so far to the side to see my side view mirrors. I don't. They feel like they're a little far back. But maybe that's where you know it's probably where they were in the, in the actual truck. But that's balanced by the fact that the hood mirrors are just so incredible. The hood mirrors are so good you don't really need to side view mirrors. I wish other trucks had mirrors that were that actually functional. So that's actually a great thing. Um, now, the problem is I felt I found a lack of immersion with the truck. Though it's beautifully designed as a vintage truck, I didn't feel like I was driving an old truck. And that's partly because of the next thing I'm going to get to, which is the engine. Now, you can change the engine. and I, I, I But I wanted to test it as it came, you know, with the engine that it came with. It came with a far overpowered engine. Now, true, this truck... I mean, like, what I, here's what I mean. Driving on the highway, I felt like I was driving like an F-150 just pulling a motorcycle trailer. It did not feel like I was pulling 35 tons behind me. Uh, I did one 1,500-mile delivery on this thing, and it was the fastest one of those I've ever done. I, I only had to stop 
I almost made it on only one stop to rest. I, it was so fast. And that's the thing. The engine is so powerful in this thing. I was just ripping up hills, uh, passing other trucks. Just I mean, the thing's always at its speed limit. And this going back to the vintage feel and why I don't think it has it. Because the thing is like always at cruise control. It like barely dips below cruise control, it feels like. If you drive it smooth, and it is a very smooth truck. It's a very maneuverable truck. It doesn't lose much speed. And so the whole 1,500 miles, I pretty much just sat right there at 65 miles an hour listening to the same sound. The engine does sound good, but I didn't feel as much like I was driving a truck. And I often forgot the trailer was there. As I was winding up mountain passes in the left lane, just flying by trucks. There was one truck I was flying up a mountain pass and there was a turn and I actually whizzed by him on the shoulder. I Like I said, you can just forget the trailer's even there. Now that's actually, you could say that's a good thing. It's like, wow, this truck is so smooth and steers so great, you forget the trailer's there. Yeah, but it's a truck simulator, you know what I mean? I didn't feel like I was pulling a trailer. Well, to continue with that story, on the way down the other side of that mountain pass, um, well, this happened. Because <laughs> I forgot I was driving. That's the thing. I didn't feel immersed like I was driving a truck. That happened. I ended up on my side. Uh, I took a turn, which the truck took easily, but I forgot there's a 35-ton trailer behind me. Um, it went up on two wheels, and, well, this truck is so lightweight, it just it pulled the truck with it. Um, that's the first time I've flipped a truck in this game. I wasn't sure it could happen, but it can't. All right, so let's move on. I think the engine's a little overpowered, and I didn't feel like I was in the role of driving a, a, you know, an old rattly vintage truck. I really I wanted that feel. And there are mods that give you that kind of engine sound, and you could change to a smaller engine. Sure, I'm just reviewing the truck as I got it. All right, one other small little nitpick. Okay, there, there's two more nitpicks I have. The GPS is ugly. That The ugly off-white frame just stands out against the beautiful vintage of the truck. It really does. I don't know why they made it white when all the other GPS units in the game are black. You can't move it, and it is, it's much brighter than the GPS and the other trucks. Now, maybe yours won't be as bright as mine was, but, you know, maybe my settings are different, but I will say it's brighter than my other trucks, and it washed out the icons. There was times I found myself pulling up the map to see if the place had a gas stop or a, a rest stop, like the green and the blue. It was so washed out to me, I could, I was having trouble telling the green from the blue. So, and at night, um, if I've shown some night footage here, you see I'm getting a pretty bad bloom effect off of it. Now, you may not get that because your graphics may be set different than mine, but none of my other GPS units do that. This was actually kind of, it was really in my face and it was really too bright. And then one other disadvantage, uh, you get used to the wipers being up in the middle of the windshield. You don't even notice they're there. In fact, had I not gone a couple thousand miles with this thing, I wouldn't thought anything of the wipers. They're awesome. They look beautiful. The wiper lever works and everything. Well, I got caught in a really heavy rainstorm at night, and here's the problem. they That's their starting position, and that's the position they return to, leaving that entire middle section of the windshield unwashed. So if you're running a rain mod like I am, my the whole set, and you're in a heavy thunderstorm, the whole center section of your windshield just stays waterlogged, and you can't, of course, you're not really looking there, but when you go to make a right-hand turn, if you're going to make a right-hand turn, you can't really see what you're turning into. Again, that's if you have like a one of the realistic rain mods. So let's look at over. Overall, let's look at the truck. It's a beautiful truck. It, it's very fast and efficient to do deliveries. Although, as I showed you, it's a little easy to get it going too fast and forget that you're pulling a huge trailer. I think it's actually a downside. It kill it. It lacked immersion for me. I didn't feel like I was driving an old truck. I felt like I was playing Gran Turismo, racing up, I mean, to be honest, racing up that mountain pass, just swerving in and out of traffic. I was like, how am I even doing this? So it's maneuverable, but you know, right. Overall, overall, here's what I'm gonna do. My recommendation for this truck, I've given you the good, the bad, and man, it is beautiful. You know, I'm looking at it right now, and it is a beautiful truck. I love the old vintage truck, and I'm, there's that Mac R series, I think it is. Um, I'll try that one out too. Maybe, maybe I'll like it more. This one though, I'm gonna park back in my garage and assign one of my drivers to it. And I'm gonna go back to um, probably driving my Kenworth. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Tell me what you think about the Mac B61. It's a beautiful truck. I just, I didn't feel like I was driving a truck truck. But it's a, it is a cute little thing, I'll say that. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally, I will catch you guys next time.